I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed today to be bringing God's truth to you. And I know this broadcast is making an impact in your life. The last two days have been awesome. And I pray today the Spirit of God will increase His function in our lives. Praise God. Are you ready for everything God wants to bless you with? We've been talking about God loves you. And all what we've been doing is the display of His love for you. And so today, before going to today's broadcast, can we, can we receive our daily bread? Are you ready? Open your heart. Release your faith. It is real. Say with me, say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Oh, you know, I still feel the anointing of God's Spirit. Oh, Lord, help us today. I think the Lord is just manifesting what we've been talking about. Yeah. I think that's what he is all about this week. He wants to touch you. He wants to bless you. And I'm not going to be a hindrance to him. No, no, no. I'm not going to say, well, I've prepared what I want to share. Ah, who? Share? For what? He is the author and finisher of our faith. He's the one that will say to me, say this and I'll say it. Even if I felt he had told me what to say, if he comes now because of you to say, hold on, son, deal with this first, he's the one I follow. <laughs> so listen, I'm not going to be a hindrance to the Lord today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know what bothers you in your heart right now, but I sense in my spirit the Lord is here to heal. The Lord is here to deal with that situation. Yes. So, can you, by yourself, begin to make requests to the Lord? Open your mouth. Make requests to the Lord. That's what I hear the Lord saying you should do. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want me to do for you. And He will do it. Don't be shy. Hey, he wants to fill your mouth with good things. He doesn't want you looking old and say, what's going on with you? It's stress. It's stress. No. It doesn't matter how we walk. If your mouth is filled with good things, your strength will be renewed every time. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are right now, can you begin to make requests to the Lord? I hear someone making a request concerning a marriage. Your husband. Lord, when are you going to touch my husband? There are several things have been going on. Yeah, the Lord hears you. The Lord hears you. The Lord hears you. You're praying concerning your children. The Lord is hearing you. He's hearing you. The challenge in the office. The Lord is hearing you. The Lord is hearing you. I'm hearing a lot of things. Like I'm hearing voices talking. Praise God. Your voices. I'm hearing them. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, sometimes, by the grace of God, we are opportuned to 
come into an encounter with the Lord. Now, coming into an encounter with the Lord is, has, has, is not all the time that it's one smoking blast, you know. No. Sometimes, you don't even know. But you just get to that place where you obey instructions. And as you obey, things begin to happen. You're wondering, but I've been praying for this thing for years. And that day, I just said it and it began to happen. Yeah, it sees the grace of God. There are times God just, in his joyful self, releases his grace. You remember that man by the, by the pool of Silo? No, no, by the, the, the pool of Bethsaida. And that man has been there for many years. And now they say at different times, an angel comes to stir the water. So every time he's been there, he's been praying, let me see when the angel comes. So that I'll be the first to jump into the water. But for some reason, he wasn't able to jump into the water. Now he bore witness that several times when the stirring happens, someone else will get in before him. And then he, see, he will see that person come out healed. And he was always wishing, I wish I was the one. Why, didn't I, why wasn't I in front today? Why did I go out to read? No, just, can't, just anything. But then Jesus walked up to this guy one day. He didn't stare the water. And asked, announced, who's going to jump in first? He didn't push the guy to the water and say, look, the angel is about to come. No. He got to the guy and said, do you want to get well? So he bypassed that theory or that, that understanding they had about the stirring of the water. He bypassed it. Walked straight to, he didn't take a megaphone and say, all of you who want to be well now, listen to me. No, he went straight to this man who's been there 38 long years. He went straight to him and said, sir, do you want to be well? I, I believe he whispered it. Do you want to be well? Because now, now, think about the whole place filled with sick people. All of them, their faith was on that water. When they would see the water being stirred. And Jesus walked straight to this man. And whispered to him, do you want to be well? Oh, you know, I want to, but there's no... And Jesus said, get up, take up your bed and go home. Hmm? But the water have not been stirred. Go home. Um, go home. Yeah, go home. Get up. I should get up. Yes, get up. And I can just picture the man looking at Jesus and wondering. You see, when, 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 when God does a miracle, there is an awareness. Now, when, when he gives that command, there is an awareness that comes up in your heart. It doesn't block your memory. So you will remember that you couldn't walk. But something will just hit you strong, like, why can't I walk? And then the man put pressure on his legs and moved up and realized his leg could carry. And then he remember the man says, take up your bed. He bends down, he could bend, no pain. Carries his bed. What's going on here? Jesus didn't pray for him. You know, the Lord spoke to me about that and said, Do you know, I, I had healed that man several times. <sighs> God is a God of compassion. So what do you think? He sends an angel to stir up that water. And after that day, he shuts his eyes to every sick person that is there. He doesn't hear them when they cry. Come on now, that's not the God you know. See, healing the people was not his problem. It was the people paying attention to him and receiving healing. 
So their mind, because of the testimony they have heard, their minds were conditioned on that angel coming. So they were always waiting to see. Now imagine wind blowing and the water is just moving. Someone jumps in quickly and say, oh no, it wasn't an angel, it was wind that blew the water. Now that's how prepared they were to jump. And the Lord said to me, he said, son, do you know I'd heal that man before Jesus went to him? I began to think about it. said, yeah. He said, that's why, he in particular, that's why Jesus didn't go there for a crusade. I sent Jesus to help that man get out of that place. That's why Jesus had to ask him, do you want to get well at all? You know, you know how we say it here. Are you sure you want to get well? That's how Jesus, Jesus wasn't telling him to, you know, I want to help you. So do you want to get well? No. Jesus said, you, you, do you want to get well? Anytime. God will even say, take up your bed and go leave this place. He didn't pray for him because God had already healed him. He just needed someone to let him know that he had already been healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you that one that God has already healed but you didn't know? You've still been battling with that sickness and remaining in that condition they said. Hey, I hear Jesus ask you the same question. Do you want to be well? Then start up and do what you couldn't do before. Yes, get up. Go and do what you couldn't do before. And you realize you have been healed. And that's how much God goes out to display his love for you. He looks out for you. He provides for you. Now here you are. It's, it's a few days to the end of the month. And you're wondering how you're going to survive to the end of this particular month. You're wondering. Because everything you, you were paid, you've used all. And you're contemplating going to borrow money like you used to do before. You want to borrow to help you through this month. And then when you receive your pay, you pay back loan with almost half. And you have this person, usually... He's even known. He, you, he knows you pay back. So there's an understanding you have with this person. So even as, as you're planning to ask the person for the money, he, I mean, you just send a message that, ah, please, I need to, and the person will send it to you. And when you receive your pay, you're planning to pay back. I hear the Lord said, that's got to stop. Hey, come on, Sankaya. And I hear the Lord say, he's been helping you all this while, but you have failed to see it because you have put your trust in that person. But he wants you to stop borrowing. He wants you to stop that. Because he wants you to begin to see the provision he has made for you. And he always does this every month, but you failed to see it. Just like that man failed to see that he has been healed. But will you stop that now? You say, Pastor Tuvo, you don't understand. The things I need to do, there are so much. I'm not talking about the things you need to do. I'm talking about turning your attention. See, now look at your mind. The things you need to do, they are too much. So you have someone who's willing to help you. But what about God? A time comes when you grow up and let now be that time. You know what? I'm not going to ask. I'm going to ask God. I'm not going to ask man. I'm going to ask God. So can you table this request before him and say, Lord, I, I need some money to help me sort out the things I need to sort out. Can you ask God yourself? And believe him when you ask. Don't ask him and start looking at man. Ask and keep your eyes on him. 
He will come true for you. God wants you to begin to enjoy miracles. He wants you to begin to enjoy miracles. You see, because that's what authenticates your uh, sonship in his family. It's not a special thing for him to do for you. It's not because you have fasted and prayed. No, it's a daily occurrence from him in your life. He wants you to begin to live there. Your monthly pay will never be enough. He never planned for it to be enough. Yes. Because he didn't send you to go work for money. He's the one that will take care of you. You deploy your skill and then they pay you fine and good. Do your work faithfully, but keep your eyes on him to take care of you. That's what he wants for you. And, and I hear the Lord say, as you begin to do this, he's going to begin to open up channels of blessings for you. You would indeed, you will get to that point where you are so blessed, you're looking for room. You're looking for what do I do with this now? That's what it means. Or what do I do with this now? Okay, maybe, maybe now, now see, he wants you in turn to turn around and become a blessing, even to those that have been a blessing to you. So, hey, this month you're not taking that loan. No, you're not taking that loan. In fact, this is what you should do. Now, because the Lord's going to bless you before the end. I'm not talking about your salary now. In the next few days, you're going to see a miracle. Not just one. Because I, I hear God lifting you up into a new realm. Into a new place. Something is opening up for you. Now I want you to make up your mind. That person that I've always helped you by loaning you money. Specifically, that's the person that. This month you're going to buy that person a gift and say thank you. But you know what? You are not going to be needing that help again. Rather, you are growing to be in position to help others. That's what the Lord is doing in your life. And he's doing it right now. So can you make up your mind and turn and ask him, Lord, I'm going to look up to you. And these are the things that I need. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see the Lord elevating people. I see stories being changed. I see dead things coming back to life. Why? Because God is displaying his love for you. He's rising up for your sake. And he's blessing you. I pray for you right now, even as our time is up. I pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. See, some of you are feeling the anointing of God in your body right now. Your hands, I see someone's hands are literally shaking. Listen, God is putting something new in your hands. And it will bring you great blessing. It will bring you great blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive it right now. Receive it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen, step out today and have a great day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.